Hey, it's been a really long time since I've done a vlog. So this week, you're gonna follow me around a little bit, probably more like a day rather than a week. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing some work on my website. I'm gonna be getting a painting ready to ship. I'm gonna varnish it and get it all fixed up and ready. And I'm gonna go out and do some things in town with my daughter, probably go a little thrift shopping, possibly go to Ulta, I don't know. So I'm just gonna take you along with me. So I hope you enjoy it. And how to make pages. My website look much better than what I've been able to do before. So I'm gonna show you, I'm still working on some of the pages and getting them updated, but I'm gonna show you a little quick peek at what I've been able to figure out. Okay, here's my laptop. And here is the new format that I've learned how to do, which is really exciting. <laughs> I've got my homepage fixed up so much more modernized and easier to use and I'm so excited about this and it's so much fun for me just to go through and do all of this. It's like remodeling, I don't know, something fun in your house. <laughs> but I've also updated the creative community page and now you can get on the wait list if you're interested in joining my creative community or if you don't know what it is, you can go here to the website and learn more about it but we're gonna open up April the 19th and I'm excited because this is it's been since last year since we opened and accepted new members and I've got my page all prettied up and easy to use and I hope that you'll go over there and take a look and just be excited with me that I've learned how to do this because <laughs> this is something totally new and awesome Okay.
Okay, so we're back from shopping and I'm going to show you a couple things that I picked up. One of them I got from Goodwill and it is this old cast iron iron <laughs> and I'm going to use it for a door stop here in my art studio because my door will not stay open no matter what I try. I also got this girl. She makes me happy. And I've got to put her somewhere in here. I don't know where yet, but I'll find a place. I got some other things. They were boring, so I didn't, didn't want to show you all that. It's like lotion, whatever from Ulta. So also got some sweet tea. And now I'm going to scan some paintings that need to be scanned for my licensing agency. So I'll show you how I scan paintings. Okay, so this is my scanner. And I've got a couple of paintings that need to be scanned. One large one and then this 11 by 14, which will be easier for me to show you how to do. But I just basically lay it down on the scanner bed. And then I, pi I pile heavy books on top of it. And that squishes it down so that it's really flat against the glass. And so then I use my computer over here, which you can't see, but it's down here. Close that. Okay. So computer, just click on scan. It's already set up. Let me try to adjust this a little bit. There we go. So it's already set up at 600 DPI. It's going to scan as a TIFF, T-I-F-F -F, file. And I can get a preview of it before I actually save it to my computer. And not all scanners are the same. Some of them work better than others, but this looks good as far as I can tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scan that and it will save it to my computer. Okay, I think I did everything that I wanted to do today. I got, this painting is varnished and now the varnish is dry. You can see it has a little bit of a, a sheen to it and it will get packaged up tomorrow and shipped out. And I got my painting scanned. We did our little shopping trip and I hope you enjoyed following me around today and maybe I'll do more vlogs like this in the future. I don't know, but I'll see you next week.